Now to that massive wildfire burning out of control. A state of emergency declared as nearly 90,000 people, an entire city, evacuate. This view from space showing the fire creating what looks like a giant white cloud of smoke. ABC's Neil Karlinski is on the ground in Fort McMurray, Canada with the latest. Neil. Robin, good morning. Police are escorting us right now just to be here where we are. This is the only highway that runs in and out of town, and you can probably see the problem. There are flames that are leaping right at the edge of the highway, and they are actually jumping over the other side. The wind has been kicking up, and we have more flare-ups that are going on on the other side over here. Conditions out here continue to change rapidly. This morning, an entire Canadian city on the run. The wildfire scorching more than 18,000 acres in just four days. A state of emergency declared across the Alberta province. Get out of town just in time. Nearly 90,000 people caught in an unprecedented exodus. The nearest gas station that wasn't burned down ran out of fuel for a time. Food supplies and cell service pushed to the limit. The escape, harrowing. Lord, keep us safe. Get us out of Fort McMurray in one piece. Residents forced to drive by huge walls of flames. You can feel the heat. This is insane. Before hitting gridlock on the only highway out of town. Video taken on the fly, capturing the otherworldly scene. Oh. Among these evacuees, two reported deaths on the road. Unpredictable winds driving the flames, leaping roads, and gutting an estimated 1,600 structures. This motel engulfed. Rows and rows of homes leveled. Cars abandoned in driveways reduced to charred skeletons. They didn't even let us take our things and when we asked them. So we lost everything. Blankets of smoke and ash choking Fort McMurray. The danger far from over. This morning, the blaze turning the airport into a tinderbox, inching ever so close. All commercial flights have been suspended. Amazingly, no injuries directly from the fire here. The town is now a ghost town. Just firefighters, police, emergency officials, they're continuing to monitor these shifting conditions. In fact, they are moving us right out of here as soon as we're off the air, George. Boy, such a dangerous situation. Okay, Neil, thanks very much.